So two other fat-soluble vitamins that we're going to talk about is vitamin A and vitamin E. Um, so vitamin A, it can be toxic at 10,000 IUs. It is made from carotene. So carotene is a pro-vitamin that's part of that carotenoids group that we talked about in food science. And um, it's also known as retinol because it helps generate the pigments in the retina. So it deals with vision and also skin. So our sources are going to be our like orange produce. So I think of mango, cantaloupe, apricots, squash, carrots. Um, and then it's also in dark leafies, dark leafy greens, uh, fish and liver. Deficiency. So I'm going to try not to butcher these names, but we have nycotilopia, which is night blindness, but nycotilopia, um, it is reversible. So if you're deficient in vitamin A and you can't see very good at night, then you take some vitamin A and it will reverse that. Exophilopemia. No idea. Exerphilopneumia is basically a uh, damage to the cornea. It is not reversible. So you damage the cornea with this, then um, so it's just that's you're done. If you are so deficient, you damage your cornea. Yikes. Um, hyperkeratinosis. Um, so when we talk about vision, now we're talking about skin, and this is very dry, scaly skin. Um, and then you also might have. Um, spots in the eyes. It's called bigot spots in the eyes. So really with vitamin A, our skin issues is dry and scaly. Um, and then our vision issues, noting that night blindness is reversible and that's an ectophilia. Vitamin E. So vitamin E is our least toxic. I don't have a whole lot of vitamin E, um, but it's considered one of the most important antioxidant bites, fat, fat soluble vitamins. Um, helps reduce or resist hemolysis of red blood cells. So it helps red blood cells not break down. So if we have a deficiency in it, it's hemolytic anemia. Typically, um, this is seen in preemies, so little babies that are born too soon. Um, and O2 destroys, when this happens, the, the oxygen is destroying red blood cells. So when we have vitamin E, it helps not destroy it. That's the antioxidant properties. Uh, um, sources, vegetable oils, whole grains, um, green leafy vegetables and almonds. So vitamin E, I don't know if you've ever had chopped lips and you have vitamin E pills and you just kind of bite it off and you can put it on your lips. It feels really great. So I think of oils, vitamin E, antioxidant, um, and then that hemolytic anemia is when you have your deficiency.